Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to another product unboxing, partial review, and instructional install. This is going to be installed on the new cat box enclosure that I'm in the process of putting together. This door is going to go in there, so I thought I'd do an unboxing to show you what it's like. This is made by a company called Trixie. All these cat doors are pretty much made by certain manufacturers, and I believe they all stamp their names to them, like most of your Chinese products. It says, I don't know if that's German, but four wedge, I can't even read that, but this is the XL version. It's four-way with the tunnel. The tunnel means that it will expand to the depth of your door or your enclosure, whatever you're putting it in. It has open, closed, out only, and in only for your pet. There's the measurements right there. They're in centimeter, and I will actually measure it out uh, so that it's in inches for you. It's got a guarantee of three years on it. And like I said, this is the XL model. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this apart. Of course, like Christmas, they put little tape on the side here, make it a little more difficult for you <laughs> on your packages. There we go. Go ahead and slide that out. There it is. I have the white model that I went for. Looks like it's pretty good size. I have larger cats, and I think this door will be fine for them. There's a hardware kit that comes with it. it has the screws and looks like some little decorator conceal knobs that'll go over top of the screws. They'll pop right there in the holes. Here's the lock that they were talking about. It looks like it slides back and forth from left to right. It has an arrow up, arrow down, a solid portion right there. That may be for a lock and then up and down. So I'm assuming once you have the arrows here in the up and down, that means that this will swing back and forth both ways, like it does there. Put it back into position there, and we'll slide it to that middle point. And that looks like it locks it. Slide it to the down position so it doesn't go out. I don't know how well this is going to hold up. It does have little plastic tabs here. And they slide right in the grooves that are formed. This is a little difficult to slide. I have problems with my fingers. All the way over, there's a little tab right there. And that's allowing it to go in. So your pet can go in, but they can't go back out. That locks it. So they can't come back out, but they will be able to go in. We'll slide it to the down arrow. That looks like it's locking it completely. No in or out. Slide it to this middle position right here. It also has it locked. This up and down arrow, then go in and out. So we'll pull this apart. That's the back part. We'll take the screw package off. It does come with eight screws. Here's the tunnel, we pull that apart. That comes right off. Now imagine if you have something that's real thin that you're putting this on, you could leave the tunnel off of it and that'll almost come together like so. But with the tunnel, that's going to expand you out that much. Came with just this little flyer here, installation flyer. Tells you how to place the template on there. So this is your template. Whatever you're going to cut out, this will act as a template. You're going to mark around the edges here and then cut out that portion and then slide in your door. So keep in mind your template is just a little bit larger than the width on your extension here, the tunnel. Pretty simple to put back together there. That just lays right on there like that. And then this goes like this. Now there's no seals in here when the door shuts, just the seal that runs around the perimeter here. So you may lose uh, some heating and cooling through the door itself, minimum at best, but you do have a seal, a weather seal that goes all the way around the perimeter on the back side here. So when that goes up against your door, it will seal. Same thing with the other side, it has a weather seal that runs around the perimeter of the frame here too. So let's put the tunnel back together here. So it does have magnets on the bottom of it. As you can see there, it'll pull it right in so it closes for you. Won't stay open. The exterior of the frame is going to measure about nine and a half inches. And I'm sure that's in a square. 
Yes, it is. Nine and a half that way. Width closed up about two inches. And with the tunnel on there, it looks like you could probably go out to about an inch and, inch and a quarter door width. All right, so when it slid all the way over and you have the up arrow, that's gonna allow your pet to go in. When it's locked right there in the bottom arrow, that allows your pet to go out, but not in, so nothing can come in from the outside. But your pet can go out. Then when you slide to this middle position here, you look on the back here, that locks those tabs out so nothing can go in or out. But if you push on it really hard though, it will pop. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna work over time. Just giving you my honest opinion. It will rattle loose. You have to have it right on there and make sure that you test it. So overall, would I purchase this again? This is gonna go inside cat box enclosure. So this isn't a big deal to me if the locking mechanism doesn't work properly, as long as it doesn't lock them out. I'm just gonna leave it open so they can go in and out at all times. So that doesn't affect me. But if you're gonna use this externally, I don't know if I would buy this model. I'd look around, check out some other reviews. That's just my opinion. But hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. That button's down there in the corner. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next. Please subscribe. Share with your friends. Take care.